Tragic discovery on the outskirts of Salt Lake County near Saltaire. The body of a woman is found by a jogger. New specialist Garna Mejia is on this story for us tonight and joins us live. And Garna, what do we know at this point? Yeah, good evening, Dan. Unified police tell us that the woman's body was likely out here for several days, and yet it appears that no one has reported her missing. The clothing she was wearing also don't appear to indicate that she intended to come out here. The serenity of the shores near the salt air disrupted by tragedy and a disturbing discovery now deemed suspicious. We have called her recently deeply there is a dead body on the Texas road at Salt Air. Unified police say a jogger first spotted the woman's body on the rocks just over a Jersey barrier next to the road. Unfortunately, at this point, we don't even know who she is. We don't know who she is. We don't know cause of death. Police suspect the woman was here for several days. It's off the frontage road. It's not a highly traveled road. So yeah, definitely the circumstances surrounding it are suspicious. What's more suspicious, police say they've received no reports of a missing person with her description. And nearby missing persons databases have turned up no matches so far. Initially, we start with those, you know, Tooele, Wendover, those places that are nearby, as well as the national database to see if there's something listed there. A drone search of the surrounding vegetation turned up no personal belongings, but detectives say that in itself is telling. Everything's very out of place. Out of place because it's usually only people out exercising that pass by here. Out there for a jog? No, probably not. Police describe the woman as five feet, five inches tall with long black hair. She had tattoos with the words Joseph and Jay Grin. Clues they hope lead to finding her family. If anybody knows anything, possibly knows who this woman is, please call us. Now, Sergeant Melody Gray tells us that they're hoping to get more identifying information like fingerprints from the medical examiner's office. But in the meantime, again, they're asking that anyone that may have information to contact Unified Police. We'll send it back to you, Dan. All right. Hopefully they can get some answers on this one. Thanks a lot. Garda Mejia live for us tonight in Salt Lake County.